morning everybody, it's Kelly. I'm back here in my house in Nova Scotia. I'm done all my traveling for now. Lots of stuff I need to take care of here, so yeah. I just woke up, I have no makeup on, my hair isn't done. I'm still in my Tinkerbell pajamas. And I need to get back on track in my healthy eating and my clean eating diet. So, I thought I would go over um, one of my smoothies I'm going to make this morning. I'm huge on smoothies in the morning just because you can pack in so much nutrients and so much goodness for you to start off the day. And breakfast is your most healthy, um, most important meal of the day. So don't skip out. And I'm going to show you a smoothie and, well, a way that I make smoothies. And I'm just going to be using some ingredients I have and I like to use. But before we get started, I always start off with lemon water. Um, you can cut up lemons and use the juice of lemons, like fresh lemons. I also just use the real lemon juice. What it does, it just wakes up your um, digestive system and just kind of wakes you up, gets your stomach going and your metabolism, and um, it's also good for detoxing. So I start off with that every morning. I like to drink at least half of it if I can, if I can't, or uh, I like to drink it whole, the whole glass of it, um, one glass, but if I can't do that, I drink at least half of it. And I also take, okay, I usually take in the morning, I will show you, I usually take a fish oil. Um, right now I'm doing Omega-3 Super Krill, uh, it says better than fish oil. Um, they're softer, like smaller gel, so it's much easier to swallow. Like some fish pills are like huge, and I just seriously they scare me, and I feel like I wouldn't be able to swallow it, or I would choke on it, or something. But <clears throat> fish oils are great for uh, flushing fat out. Um, Omega three fatty acids, the essential acids, are great for you. So. Fish oils are always good, and I do start off with a green tea uh, supplement. It's just green tea all packed up in a little pill, and sometimes I don't take it. Sometimes I will actually make myself a green tea. Um, so it's, I mean, to each your own. I take green tea, um, not every day, but I like to take it. And also, because I am a woman, I take um, a multivitamin. I am very small. I don't eat a lot of red meat, so I lack in iron. And women just need that extra boost of calcium and other um, uh, vitamins and such. So I do take a multivitamin. And I definitely take the chewable because I feel like now that I'm an adult, those multivitamins are massive and they're hard on your throat to swallow unless they come in like the soft gels. And yeah, so I take a chewable um, vitamin and it's good for adults. So they are out there and I take those. So let's get started with my smoothie over here. I'm just going to go over what I put into my smoothies. So um, usually a ton of fruit, um, anywhere between raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, mango, and cherry, and banana. That's usually what I do. I don't always pack all of them into one. Um, strawberry banana, strawberry blueberry, usually I always have a blueberry in it and strawberries. But right now I'm out, I'm only left with cherry and mango. My husband, I guess, he ate all my raspberry because I totally thought I had raspberries today. But I don't. So cherries are good for, um, they're a great antioxidant, they fight cancerous cells and they slow aging, they're great for your skin and they can actually help you sleep. And mango, they're actually really good for your eyes, they have vitamin A, they're another good um, antioxidant, um, energy booster, they're really yummy also. So that's what I'm going to use for my fruit and I use a frozen fruit I get from a store, um, like a local store, instead of buying it from the uh, grocery store. I do buy frozen fruit from the grocery store. And we do try to get organic fruit if you can, just because they seem like I read up and organic is the healthier thing and they have more antioxidants and more beneficial for you. Also, I'm going to be using a banana. Bananas are amazing for you. Like, there's so many great things about bananas and so healthy. And the reason I'm telling you this is because, you know, people just throw stuff together and they don't know 
why it's so healthy for you. So I'm, I just want to take the time to explain that. So bananas, they help overcome depression. The tryptophan is converted into serotonin, which is a happy mood brain neurotransmitter, so it puts you in a better mood. So, I mean, why wouldn't you want that in the morning? Also, they have tons of energy and they protect protect against muscle cramps, they aid in digestion, improve mood, reduce um, PMS symptoms, ladies, uh, it regulates your blood sugars and produces stress relieving relaxation, it reduces swelling, protects against type 2 diabetes, aid in weight loss, strengthen the nervous system, and help with production of white blood cells, and it has a high dose of vitamin B6. Tons of awesome things about bananas. So, um, and I always use, I like bananas, it just kind of gives it a more creamier taste in my smoothies and it just makes it more, like, I don't, I don't know, I like my thicker, I don't really like it, like, really watery and runny, it's just weird. And I'm going to, for my liquid, I'm using um, almond milk, you can use, like, if you are um, watching your weight and everything, I know some people just like to use water, I personally like almond milk because I'm a bit lactose intolerant, I can't deal with normal milk, um, I have good days and bad. Water is not the most flavorful. Um, I prefer it maybe in like just a fruit smoothie and in um, maybe like a tea mixed in there and it will give like a fresh uh, summery flavor. But I'm going to be using almond milk and it's great for people who are lactose intolerant. It has tons of vitamin, vitamins. They, it has E, magnesium, selenium, magnesium, iron fiber, zinc, calcium, prevents cancer, and signs of aging, it has antioxidants. It's low fat and calories, so it's great for weight loss. So that's what I use, and you can, there's tons of different almond milks out there. And you don't have to use almond, I mean there's rice milk, and uh, there's also soy, and I have used rice, soy, and I have used coconut. I actually really like the coconut milk too. Um, but almond, uh, there's different flavors in all these types also, I use Vanilla, I, I prefer vanillas. And unsweetened is best because then it's less sugar, better for weight loss, and it's just healthier. And okay, so I'm also going to be adding a couple other things. So I use, I like to add um, flaxseed or ground flaxseed. I use it because it is high in B vitamins, it has omega-3 fatty acids and it helps against inflammation and antioxidants and like it's great for your stomach and then it has lots of fiber. So beneficial. <laughs> and I also use like I load, my smoothies are loaded in the morning. I use tons of stuff. Um, some people don't prefer that, some people like less ingredients, but I like to pack whatever I can in there. So I also use chia seeds. These things are great and they're high in nutritional value, contain one of the highest known plant sources of essential fatty acids, so that's omega-3 and omega-6. Um, it stabilizes blood sugar, it's energizing and a balanced blend of protein, carbs, fat, and fiber. It also boosts metabolism and promotes lean muscles. Uh, it has few calories and adds bulk. It detoxes, and what it does is it cleanses and soothes your colon while absorbing toxins, and that's awesome. And um, the protein content is about 20%, lots of protein in there, and it's more antioxidants than blueberries. So a lot, a lot of good things about chia seeds, and it also has um, provides fiber and other great nutrition nutrients. So lots of great factors with chia seeds. I do use hemp hearts and um, some people use hemp hearts, some people don't. Um, it uh, can be popular, it just depends, but I use them. Um, the benefits are it can lower blood pressure, it improves digestion, it increases energy and lowers cholesterol. Um, another thing I use is ginger and it's immune boosting increases blood flow, promotes sweating, prevents motion sickness, and you can use it in teas and foods, and I mean, it's flavorful, it's great. And I use, I'm using ginger powder right now. You could throw in, like, grate up some ginger if you wanted. I'm using ginger powder. I actually bought it not too long ago just because I wasn't feeling great, so it's an immune booster and helps you sweat and everything. And I asked you, I also use it in a bath detox. There's so many uses for ginger. So, I mean, look them up. It's amazing. 
I also am a lover of ginger tea. Well, I love all teas, but ginger tea is one of my favorites. It just calms your stomach and it makes you feel great. Um, so, anyways, moving on. I'm using maca powder. Now, maca powder does have amazing effects and it does have side effects. Um, I just read up too that if you have like gall bladder problems or you're pregnant and such, you don't want to be using MAC powder. Um, definitely read it up before you use it, but I've been using it. I just use a, li a little bit, like maybe a teaspoon, and I sprinkle it in a smoothie. Some people have it on yogurt. It uh, gives you like an instant energy boost. It helps your skin, reduces uh, hormonal disorders, reduces stress, contributes to healthy bones and teeth. It's similar to a B17, a vitamin B17, um, and improves overall health. There's tons of other benefits uh, to maca powder. Um, yeah, I just sprinkle it on my, I think I have had it in yogurt, but I sprinkle it in my smoothie. And yeah, you can't really taste it or anything. Also, I use Opran. I was went to a um, what do you call them? Like a natural health doctor. She actually practiced Chinese medicine, and I was having problems with my stomach and digestion. And she actually mentioned um, making myself oatmeal in the morning. Oatmeal is great for weight loss. It's such a healthy breakfast. Um, but she mentioned this, and she mentioned having oat bran on it, and I, it's great. Um, it's great for people with like celiac disease, or um, it's gluten free, and it helps aid in digestion, reduces uh, bad cholesterols for the heart. It's rich in antioxidants, and it has like that stay young factor because of the antioxidants. It's really good. So that's oat bran. Also, I put oats in my smoothie, and it helps reduce craving for nicotine. So if you're trying to quit smoking, oatmeal is great for you. It beats depression, it boosts energy, reduces diabetes risk, and uh, the obesity in children. So um, it's healthy for children also. They have tons of flavors out there. I know my husband is a big fan of dino, dino eggs. Oh my goodness, it's a kid's oatmeal, really but he likes it. I personally, I like the plain stuff and I add fruit to it. So, and uh, yeah, and it can, oh, and it aids in your diet because it's low calories and everything like that. And if you're gonna have something like that, it's great to have it in the morning. Your carbs, your heavy things are great in the morning and then like smaller meals later. So that is a ton of stuff that I add to my smoothie. Um, it ends up like a big, thick, yummy, delicious thing. It's, it's I call them super smoothies or super loaded smoothies. Some days I don't have all of this in my smoothies. Um, sometimes I have like minimal, minimal, a couple berries, almond milk. Oh, and another thing I add is our organic vanilla yogurt. I add a tablespoon or two into that just for extra flavor and to get a little bit of more calcium. So I hope you got all that. That is so much for a smoothie. But I want to share with you and help you along and get into the healthy, fit eating thing. I mean, it's summer. Everybody wants a great body and shows it off at the beach, you know. Or just if you want to be a little bit more healthier or if you want to know something to have for breakfast. Because another reason I like smoothies is because I just... Sometimes I'm just not a breakfast person. For a long time, I didn't really do the whole breakfast thing. I, I don't know, would pick at it. I wasn't a big eggs eater or anything. Like, I don't know. I just find this so much more. You drink it, it's so much in one, and it's done. And some days I have more than this. I'll have my lemon water, and I also have my smoothie, and I might cook up some scrambled eggs, one or two, depending, and some fresh fruit on the side. Or um, I'll have a little bowl of oatmeal and it's like, wow, that's a time to eat. But it is and I eat like a sloth. So I eat it over like a two hour time period when I do have the time. And if you don't have the time, smoothies are awesome, especially if you're on the go. I mean, you make it, put it in your cup and you're off. Or just if you don't have a lot of time around the house, you got to get cleaning. Or if you have kids or family or whatever, smoothies are amazing. But yes, and my um, ratio for oatmeal, if you want to know, like I don't make a huge pot. I put in the slightest amount of water. I've mentioned this in my clean eating video, but I put the slightest amount of water. I put about three tablespoons of 
oatmeal and two tablespoons of oat bran. And I add cinnamon to everything. It is my, I put that stuff on everything ingredients. And I also put cinnamon in my um, smoothies also, which I didn't mention. But I put smoothie, or cinnamon, everything, yogurt. I can put it on chicken. Like, I put it, everything. It's great. And it's good for, I think it reduces blood pressure. There's so many benefits to cinnamon also. I think I could do a whole video on just cinnamon and honey because it's great for things, even if you're sick. Oh, my goodness. And now I'm rambling. So sorry. I don't mean to make my video so long. But, yes. So, good morning to everybody. I am a little scruffle puff. I just woke up. Again, I'm in my little Tinkerbell pink fuzzy pajamas. And, yeah, I am just wanted to show you my morning routine, and I hope you enjoyed. And um, if you like the video, like it down below. If you want to see other uh, recipes or anything, um, leave a comment. I will get back to you. You can follow me on Twitter at Klinzer, K-L-Y-N-Z-E-R. Follow me on Tumblr, Your Best of My Pearls. And subscribe to my channel, to Kelly Dan. So... Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Good morning. I hope you enjoy your day. I will talk to you later. See ya.